Alrighty, so how to pack your backpack. Doesn't need to be super complicated. Comes in about three steps and there's three principles to think about. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna empty it out. Usually when you empty this thing out, maybe it's been sitting in a cupboard or a closet for a year, you're gonna find moldy goldfish, you're gonna find a 10 year old cliff bar, which of course means it's got 90 years left on its lifespan. So put that guy right back in the cupboard or use it on this trip that you're packing for. Uh, but really keep an eye out for crap you don't want to carry. I've gone on summer trips with extra down jackets that I forgot about inside the bag for no good reason. I ditched a down jacket that I hadn't used at all, and I still had a second extra one. And so take a look, get all that stuff out. That's step number one. Step number two is loosen it all up. These kinds of backpacks, they got straps all over the place on the outside, on the back. They got buckles going over the top. Loosen those up before you try to pack it up. Otherwise, you're just making your life way harder for yourself. So that's step two. And once you've done that, you're ready to start putting things in. Now, there's three simple, 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 simple principles you want to think about. And it's called the SAD principle. You want symmetrical, you want accessible, and you want density. These are the things you're going to think about as you look over each item in your bag. The first principle, symmetry, obviously doesn't need to be very complicated. We want the right side of our bag to weigh the same as the left side. If you put more weight on one side, you're going to end up with one hip belt digging in more than the other, one shoulder strap digging in more than the other. And over a short period of time, it's not a big deal, but over a long period of time, it gets really severely painful. For the whole first part of the trip, it was kind of leaning one side. My right hip was really feeling it, but now it's, now it's good. So I'll give you an example. Let's say I'm packing my fire extinguisher. Now these are obviously super good for preventing forest fires. And I know everyone carries one of these with them, but it's just a great example of what I'm trying to say. You're gonna want this symmetrical left and right. So ideally it goes horizontally. But this fire extinguisher in particular is a little bit too tall, maybe invest in a shorter fire extinguisher. In this case, I'm gonna have to put it vertically. And if I want it to stay in the middle of my bag, it either needs to be in some kind of stuff pocket or I need to pack things around it. So I'm gonna put it in and then I'm gonna use my blanket here. I'm gonna use my pillow here. I'm gonna use my down jacket over here. Whatever I can do to keep it symmetrical is as good as possible. So super simple concept, keep that fire extinguisher in the middle. Now the next two, are accessibility and density. And these two kind of go hand in hand, but they can also hate each other occasionally. So here's what I mean. You have items in your pack that need to be accessible. These are the things you need all day long. These are the things that you might need in an emergency. For example, your bear spray. Accessibility is also really important for your bear spray. But then you also have items that are super, super dense. And if you don't know what dense mean, think about a brick compared to a feather, right? You want the bricks close to your body. You want the feathers nice and far away. So most of the time, it's not a big issue. Most of the time, the dense things are the things you only need in camp, like your tent poles or your tent fly or your sleeping bag or your thermarest. Occasionally, you can have items that sort of conflict with one another. Sometimes they need to be accessible, but they're also really dense. This is where it gets really specific. What you gotta do is you gotta look over every single item you have and you gotta think, okay, first of all, density, is this a brick, is it a feather? And then, is it accessible? Let's say it's a brick. Let's say it's something like your sleeping bag. It's really dense, you need it close to the body. Fortunately, sleeping bag doesn't need to be accessible. So you can put it in the most ideal location density-wise, bring that weight close to your body. Let's say it's something you need super accessible, like your cliff bar, right? You need your snacks on the trail throughout the day. Fortunately, cliff bars aren't awfully heavy, so they can kind of go in any exterior pocket on your pack, wherever, doesn't really matter. If things start to contradict one another, and this is where it gets a little bit more tricky, I typically care more about the density, bringing the weight close to the body, than I do about the accessibility. The best example I can think of is with something like a power bank. It's obviously really heavy because it's made of batteries, uh, but it also needs to be super accessible because you need to be able to charge your phone throughout the day. Maybe it's one of those solar panel ones and it needs to be on the outside of your pack. This is where a compromise might have to be made. Uh, but keep in mind, we're only focused on keeping weight close to the body. So close to the body can include in front of you as well. If it's cold enough to wear a sweater, stick it in that pocket. If you've got a fanny pack, you can stick it in there. I know a ton of people who bring around cameras when they're backpacking. I'm one of those people. I suspend it right here and it actually does an excellent job of balancing me out so I'm not leaning back all day. That can be super useful. Uh, but it is pretty specific to what you like to carry. So it's gonna be different for every person. Just spread all your gear out and look over it and figure out, does it need to be accessible? 
Is it dense? How can I best pack it in the bag and balance those two factors? The last thing you're gonna do, once it's all packed up, remember those straps we loosened up earlier? You're just gonna tighten those guys back up. Those are there for the purpose of tight, tight, tight like a sausage. And the tighter that backpack is, the more the weight comes in close to you, the easier your life is gonna be. So I've got a couple of comprehension questions for you if you paid attention. The first one is, let's say you are being a dick to your friend and you wanna put a rock in their bag. Where's the best place to put it in order to cause them the most discomfort? Any ideas? It's as far away from their body as possible. So if this is the back of my bag, we've got a mesh stuff sack right here. I'm gonna put it right there, and it's like a foot away from their back. It's gonna make them lean back all day. They're gonna to have to overcompensate, lean forward. It's gonna give them horrible posture, and it's gonna probably lose you a friend once they discover that it's there. Next comprehension question, what is the easiest item to pack? What I mean by that is, what is one item where the accessibility factor and the density factor don't conflict one another at all. Any ideas? I would say it's toilet paper. Toilet paper is not dense at all, which means it can be as far away from your body as possible, but it also needs to be really, really accessible. And the place where most backpacks end up getting stuff tossed into them is this mesh pocket right on the outside. So toilet paper is perfect for that because it's here, it's accessible, it's also here, it's far away from your back and you don't care because it's nice and light. So it's no big issue. Uh, if you like the video, like. If you like the subscribe, subscribe. If you want to bell, whatever, Patreon me, all that stuff, <laughs> hit me up there. Uh, this was a pretty vague video. I tried to keep the watch time nice and low because I'm not trying to steal your life from you. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. I will answer every comment that I possibly can. If I don't know the answer, I'll be honest and tell you I don't know the answer. But that's pretty much it. Pack your bag nice and well, and you'll be way more comfortable on your next backpacking trip.